First, let's reframe what we're doing. Reverse engineering isn't about hacking in the Hollywood sense. It's fundamentally about curiosity. It's about taking something that works, a program, a piece of malware, a video game, and asking, how? How does this do what it does? Think of it like this. If software development is writing a book in a language like English, reverse engineering is being handed a book that's been shredded into sentences and then translated into another language, and your job is to piece it back together and understand the story. You're a digital detective. The goal is comprehension, not just a result. Now, before you even think about opening a disassembler, you need some foundational knowledge. You can't decipher that translated shredded book if you don't know the grammar and vocabulary. There are three core pillars. First, basic programming. You don't need to be a senior developer, but you must understand fundamental concepts like variables, functions, loops, and logic. C language is especially important because it's so close to the machine. Understanding how memory works, the stack and the heap, is non-negotiable. It's the bedrock. Second, computer architecture. This is the big one. You need a solid understanding of how a CPU actually works. Specifically, you need to learn x86 assembly language. I know, it sounds scary, but you don't need to become an assembly programmer. You just need to learn to read it. Focus on understanding what registers are, what common instructions like MOV, ADD, CMP, and JMP do. It's the Rosetta Stone that will make the disassembler's output make sense. Third, operating systems. Concepts. Understand what a process is, what memory addresses are, what an executable file format is, like PE for Windows or ELF for Linux. This is the context for everything you'll be looking at. I know this sounds like a lot, and it is. The biggest mistake is trying to skip this. Embrace it. See it as learning the rules of the game before you try to play it. Okay, so you're working on those foundations. What's the actual path? Here's a progression that actually builds skill. Step 1. Start with Crack Me's, but the right way. You've probably heard of Crack Me challenges. These are small programs designed to be reverse engineered, often to find a password. The mistake people make is using a tool like Cheat Engine to blindly find the password and call it a day. Don't do that. The real value is in opening that Crack Me in a disassembler like Ghidra, which is free and incredible, or Ida Freeware, and tracing through the assembly code. Your goal is to find the function that compares your input to the correct password. Follow the data. Understand the conditional jump that decides if you're right or wrong. Why did it work? That single, aha, moment of seeing the logic in assembly is worth more than a hundred quick cracks. Step two, move to structured reversing. Once you're comfortable with simple crack me's, try reversing small, well-written C programs that you have the source code for. Write a simple program that, say, takes a name and generates a license key. Compile it. Then, open your own program in the disassembler. This is powerful. You can see exactly how your C code translated into assembly. You can connect the high-level logic you wrote to the low-level instructions the CPU runs. This bridges the gap between theory and practice perfectly. Step 3. Analyze real-world but safe code. After that, you can look at more complex things. Maybe an old open-source video game to understand how it handles player health. Or analyze a piece of legitimate software to see how it implements a serial number check. The key is to always have a specific goal. Don't just open a program and say, I'll reverse this. Say, I want to find out how this program writes a file. Or, I want to see what API calls this function makes. A specific question keeps you focused. Technical skills are only half the battle. What truly sets successful reverse engineers apart is mindset. Embrace the struggle. You will get stuck. You will feel lost staring at your screen. And that's not failure. It's the process. The breakthrough always follows the frustration. Be patient and methodical. Reverse engineering is a slow, meticulous endeavor. Take notes, document your observations, and label everything in your disassembler like you're piecing together a massive puzzle. Most importantly, let curiosity be your fuel. Constantly ask why, why this function is called, why those values are compared. That intrinsic drive is what will carry you through the toughest parts. So, the best way to learn reverse engineering isn't a secret trick. It's a commitment to building a strong foundation, a willingness to learn the language of the machine, and the patience to start small and be relentlessly curious. Don't try to become an expert overnight. Your goal for this week is simple. Learn five common x86 assembly instructions. Next week, download Ghidra and open a super simple Crack Me. Just look at it. Don't even try to solve it. Just get familiar with the environment. This is an incredibly rewarding skill. It teaches you how computers work on a deep, fundamental level. It makes you a better programmer, a better security researcher, and a better problem solver.